B H G Gaming. Neko Ghost Jump is a platform puzzle action game that is a 2D 3D hybrid. You play as a cat man that has to save his wife from the evil dogmen pirates that have evaded. Oh my god, the cuteness. No, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry about that. Along the way, you'll jump pits, you'll climb over obstacles, you'll send out your soul to kill your enemies and bosses through multiple biomes of lands, and there's even more content in the village. But at the heart of Neko Ghost Jump is a platformer puzzler that actually has two ways you can play the game. You can either play it traditionally, methodically collecting every coin, every hidden cow and cat person, and finding any other secrets until you beat the game. Or you can you can play it like like a like a main like 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 a maniac trying to get from beginning to end of each level as fast as possible to climb that leaderboard whereas you and you alone can claim top spot of neko ghost jump master I haven't got number one on any level yet but i've got top 10 under my belt and that's where neko ghost jump shines for me because of this replayability i'll play the level methodically just to clear it but then i always go back and speed run it for that leaderboard time if it wasn't for that aspect of the game, I honestly don't know if I would rate this game as high as I am. It was really a smart decision to add that into the game. The other thing I find surprising, and if you've watched any of my videos, you know I'm not a huge leaderboard guy. I can take them or leave them. But those are games that usually have high scores and are arcade type games. For Neko Ghost Jump, it's a leaderboard I didn't know I wanted. And man is it welcome. I find myself replaying levels over and over again trying to shave off milliseconds more than playing the actual game. The controls do take a bit to get used to, at least for me they did, but they're not bad. In fact, the game plays great. The transition from 2D to 3D is seamless. For me, it was just a matter of me learning the jump mechanics and remembering what button switches from 2D to 3D and which button sends out my soul and not getting them mixed up. But Remember, I'm an old man, so younger folk won't have any issues. And I know what you're asking, but I'm a big burly man. I can't be caught playing this type of game. And that's where you're wrong, my friend. This game is fun for all ages. Well, maybe 10 and up. Because you have the two distinct ways to play the game. For me, I'll admit, I have not finished the game. I'm not as deep as many players are either because I'm finding the most enjoyment from trying to speed run the levels. For kids and casual gamers, you also have a good looking platformer that plays well, but it's not perfect. <clears throat> there are two things that stuck out to me more the more I played the game. And again, I'll say this is just my opinion. I was never good at 3D platformers or puzzlers to begin with, and I don't play Nintendo games, so this is a completely different style of game than what I'm accustomed to. The game is difficult, um, which is why I think young kids might get frustrated with it. It took me quite a while to beat the first boss, but I did eventually learn when it's best to attack 2D and when it's best to attack 3D. And the second issue is that is getting stuck on the blocks if you land too close to the edge. I mean, this could go hand in hand with the, with the difficulty and my issues with the boss fight. Um, but when going from single block to single block, I found getting stuck would cause me to take damage from projectiles or I would miss my chance to get over to the ledge to attack all together during the boss's second phase. The puzzle aspect of it is fine. I mean, this is common in platformers and the whole 2D, 3D hybrid adds another element to the game that I don't think makes the game more difficult. It's just that the first few times playing a stage, you're going to have to use your brain to complete the level. You're going to die a bunch of times, but the game isn't meant to be a mindless get to point A to point B game like so many other platformers out there. These things do not take away from the gameplay. If you're not going for speed, then the block stick issue might not even matter. I personally just did not expect the difficulty to be what it was for this type of game, but hey, I'm not good at these games to begin with, so what's difficult for me may not be for others. What I ask in a game is one, is it fun? And two, does it keep me engaged or am I going to play it for 40 minutes and never touch it again? That's about it, I'm not really that picky. And when I ask these two questions in regards to Neko Ghost Jump, the answer is yes to both questions. 
Neko Ghost Jump might be a tough game to master, but it is a really fun game to play. I'll briefly talk about the village as per Burgos games themselves, it's a heavy work in progress. The village is where you can spend your coins on cosmetic items as well as there's a defense mini game that can be played. I'm not really sure how to play the defense mini game. I can never get past the second wave unless I get lucky enough to get the invincibility buff. No matter what I do, whether in 2D or 3D, I can't seem to not take damage from the enemies, so I always die before the third wave. But, what's more to come? I don't know. I'm sure there'll be more updates to the village in the future. So do I recommend the game? Yes. Yes, I do. I recommend it as someone that doesn't necessarily play platform games all that much. And I went into Neko Ghost Jump as wanting to support the developer. But I came out really enjoying the game and the time I've spent with it and wanted to share this with whomever I can. It's a project. There will be updates and fixes. What's there now between the main game and the village to me is a good value. If what you're looking for is a mindless platformer that you can turn your brain off and just go through the motions, collect coins, then Neko Ghost Jump is not for you. But if what you're looking for is a platformer that does take some brains to solve levels and has that extra component of competitiveness to it with the leaderboard, then Neko Ghost Jump might be something you want to check out. And again, I recommend that you do. Thanks for watching, and until next time.